I'm supposed to. What, what shows do you like, Doug? What's your favorite show out there? I hate <laughs> music and fuck the Beatles. Boardwalk Empire is a, a fantastic show. Fantastic show. You know what? I'm going to say that Hulu Plus has it. I bet they do. Uh, you know what? I would be surprised if they didn't. Um, for, <laughs> you get ad-free movies and uh, kids. How about shows. Friends and kids shows? I love too. that show. I oh. bet they have Friends. Oh, when Ross starts dancing around, I love it. And then Ch- Chandler makes a snide comment. Um, now, now more than ever. There's so much to watch. Take total control with Hulu Plus to stream these shows and thousands more. As much as you want, wherever you want. That's a terribly written sentence. Hulu Plus works on your computer, smart TV, Roku, Apple TV, Xbox, PlayStation, pretty much every streaming device you own. You can even watch on your phone and iPad while you're on the train and at work at the dentist or in the bathroom. You can even block off a data binge. You can do it wherever the hell you want to. They even have original shows like Deadbeat, a comedy about a pot-smoking guy who talks to ghosts. There you go, Doug. Binge on all 10 episodes starting April 9th. Uh, if it's only for seven ninety nine a month, you get yeah, all your shows anytime, anyway. How do you do it, for Christ's sake? Where the hell is it? The whole week. Just go to HuluPlus.com slash norm. What? I'm trying to speed up through this. Right now, sign up for Hulu. Hulu Plus dot Norm McDonald's podcast copy slash norm slash norm. You don't yeah, get this any money from norm. This isn't supposed to be. It's supposed S- to be slash, slash bill. bill slash bill. They said norm. Well, you know what? I like Norm McDonald. Let's let's give right. him let's give him the money for the week. I didn't even know he had a podcast. Oh yeah, dude. Norm McDonald. Did you see him on Conan telling that moth joke? No. Yeah, you got to see it. No, I haven't. Dude, I, like you know how many comics out there don't give a fuck, but kind of still do. You have to kind of still do to eat. That guy Norm truly, doesn't. He's so fucking truly, funny. One of my one of my best opening monologue jokes ever. Did you ever see? Uh, you know, remember that whole thing when he was doing Weekend Update and they told him to make it funnier. So he and he didn't. He just he just was more Norm the next week. So eventually, of course, he gets fired. So then you know he goes you know goes off into the uh, Hollywood world. He's got a TV show or a hit movie or some shit. So now they bring him back to guest host on SNL. And he I'm gonna butcher this, but he kind of came out. He's like, yeah, so. Uh, you know, I get young yeah, people know I got uh, fired from this show, so uh, now they got me back hosting, which means either uh, I got a lot funnier or this show sucks. That's, <laughs> that's what he opened up with, and I know that that wasn't approved. Sorry for the bad norm. I'll have Jay Moore on to a, make up for a, it. That was a great norm. Norm, listening to Norm on Stern or anything, any podcast, listening to – I don't know if you remember when Charles Grodin would uh, do Letterman. And just knowing he's going on there, that it was always a fucking great show. Oh, yeah. That's and what, people didn't get that he was fucking around. Yeah. That's amazing. how Norm is anytime. If Norm's the guest, I'm fucking listening. Do you know there's a, uh, there's, there's a Char- uh, Charles Grodin was on SNL, and there's a host sketch where he, he actually breaks character and is talking to Belushi and all those guys when they have the B outfits on going. I, I mean, the, the antennas are distracting. He acted like. He wasn't there for rehearsal because he was too busy shopping, doing this whole big Hollywood thing. And they just make it so fucking un- – I, I mean, because Awkward is so popular now, a lot of people doing yeah. it in comedy. Just to think that they did this back in the late 70s, and a lot of people the next fucking day thought that he truly skipped rehearsal. And he Fucked was up. that was actually the sketch. Like, I, I had no idea. I think Midnight Run is one of the most underrated comedies oh, yeah. of all time. Him and De Niro in that. Charles Grodin is fucking absolutely brilliant in that thing, so – 